He literally stood up here and saw people get bombed and gassed, I suppose. You know, the part that really gets me is that it had to have been gas, just because I didn't see craters from explosions or anything like that when I was going through the town. So let's go off to meet our new customer, our new storyteller, our new narrative, whatever you want to say. Narrator. I mean, I want to go this way. But they're taking me this way, so... So we've had theories of alien murders, we've had spirits, we've had guesses of government cover-ups, chemical attacks, terrorism. Oh, Lizzie. Now Lizzie looks pretty rambunctious. She's gonna be she's got somebody with her, it looks like. Tied to somebody, it looks like, maybe. Are we really back up here? No, we're not up here. I'm sorry. Here we go. Dylan. Was he with Sean and Di? No, I'd be looking after him. Do you think they'll come back? I, I don't know, Rachel. I don't care what anyone thinks. I just know if he was my baby, I could never leave him. Even if the whole world was coming to an end, I'd make sure he came first. You'd be a good mum, Rachel. Oh, don't worry. It's fine. Go, go back inside and tell everyone that they're doing a great job. A really wonderful job. I just got a few things to finish up here and then I'll come in and join you. Right. Go on. Oh, you lied to the little girl, Lizzie. You knew shit was going down and you lied. How could you do such a thing? Oh, alright. So, let's see where we've Let's see where we are, see where we've been. Uh, the map seems to have changed a little bit. We're now a really close up area here. So it looks like we need to go around and take a look out. Everton Waters. Tennis Court. Oh, we got a phone ringing over there. Uh, so I mean, it, it looks like it goes one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it looks like it goes around in a specific order. With the possibility of some pathways off to the side, to the top left. I came in from this direction though, so... <laughs> I called it a, a, called it a tennis or soccer field or a tennis field. And it's actually a football pitch. Uh, right. Okay. Football pitch then. It's a soccer field. Soccer. Alright, let's just check these things out in an orderly manner. 
We're going, uh... Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, even I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. It was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh shit! Steven's cheating on... What's her name? Uh... Kate. Kate, right? It's Kate. Yeah, it's Kate. Yeah. Hanging out with Lizzie. Well, that was interesting. Well, now we know that he thinks it's a thing and not a... Yeah, I think we're going with Alien. I think we're going with Alien. Let me in. Messy. Alright, well. I don't see a guiding light. I usually see the guiding light. Lizzie's not around, though. Lizzie? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check this place out first, Lizzie. I'll be right there. To the main hall for Peter Pan. Yes. Excellent. Oh, this is it. I've gone all the way around. I mean, except for what's north of us. Hello? What the fuck? Up to P. The play area for the kids. Oh, look, that's it. That's the town. Look at him. The little hand. This is a public service announcement from Hamilton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. And be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Yeah, in other words, turn yourselves in. So we can kill you. It's just weird how I'm jumping through these memories like this. Ah. 
Let me through. This is randomly weird announcements right in the middle of the uh, the hall here. That's right, everybody's dying and <laughs> disappearing. Might as well lock everything up. Alright, Lizzie, I'm coming. Give me a second. There are some important announcements that uh, you should turn yourself in. Oi, Shipley. I want to work with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. Alrighty. Alrighty, then. That's multiple people telling you you need to back off because the dad can kill you. Alright, Lizzie. We're doing our thing. I'm coming. Well, I'm not seeing any side pathways, otherwise I'd be taking them. You know me, I'm kind of a completionist. I love doing little side tasks as well. Uh, she wants me to go to this particular... Is this trailer? Yeah, it's a trailer. I can't get up here anyway. Is this, uh... I wonder if that's her home. Lizzie's home. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I understand it's trailer parks, but... It could still be... Um... You know, neat. You got a nice, nice driveway here. Wow, nice rose arbor. Oh boy! Well, here we go. It's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine, we're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry. Well, you. don't. Come to bed. Lizzie. Don't be the other woman. Come on. Don't be that. Well, Steven's just getting his rocks off to you. You're worth more than that. It sounds like there's some real love there, but... Oh, saving. Goodness gracious. We got a trailer park and she's still got a greenhouse. I'll go around. I'll go around. Wait, did it come through here? I most certainly did not.
Why so much oil? And paint? Is she like the... And a boomerang. I guess she's... And she must be the groundskeeper or something like that at the campground. Something is tied to her. Everywhere she is, she's got somebody with her. I mean, I've not seen this sort of behavior from this light ball. You see how it has that exterior light just zipping around it? Alright, All right, Lizzie. Alright, I'm gonna go investigate on my own. Let's go see. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. Something about the flu? D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family of Upton left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all that stuff's still here. Screw this, Di. There's 15 people up there left in two days. I don't like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out to the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads. Through the woods. I leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. You know her husband isn't back here either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's your problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. Alright, well there's Diane Sean. Why am I still hearing them play? I don't Well, that's it. And while he was a boozer, he wasn't that bad off. He's actually pretty wise for an old blush. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. You've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was instant? What was instant? Anything over here? No? I'm all twisted up. Who's Rachel? Rachel's the... Ah, maybe I shouldn't have gone inside that. <sighs> this is pretty much the first linear spot that I've come to where it's on a path. So I wonder what was instant. Maybe somebody got run over, run over a little squirrel or something. Alright, I'm reporting suspicious activities right now. Easy, Liz, easy. What do you want me to see? And 
You found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? It's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade has just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Ash. So it just ups and vaporizes you. Turns you into ash. Is that what you're saying? Huh. Alright, so we've narrowed it down. I really hope you guys are enjoying the story time. I know I am. Next time we're going through is going to be Quest of Kings, I think is the name of the game. But uh, we'll see you next time. I'm currently also playing... Uh, a game um, called The Forest. It's kind of spooky. I get a little excited. My voice definitely turns into a little high-pitched girl, so I hope you guys watch one or two episodes of that. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Well, this person smokes. Maybe this person went over to visit. I'm blaming them. Right in there. That's a mass murder in there. Uh, take a look through here, and then I'll probably walk through here go back up to the house. And just want to be thorough, guys. Just want to be thorough. Wait a minute. Have you noticed something? The further back I get, the rain stops. I mean, it's often on rain, man. What is this? I've never had it rain here in the U.S. like this. Just rains and then it's sunny and then rains and then it's sunny. It's, it's either rain or don't rain. Don't don't do this raining while it's sunny out. That's creepy. Ooh, secret meeting with Lizzie. <gasps> I just thought of something. This is the first. Oh, this is the first. Uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, the first ball of light that has something like that chasing after it. What do you think that Lizzie... Okay, Lizzie, hang on. What do you bet that Lizzie's pregnant with Steven's kid? <gasps> Mind blown! That's it. That's it. She's pregnant. How much you want to bet? I'm going to... I'll be right back, Lizzie. I'm going I'm gonna to check over here. Just stay real calm, okay? Do this? No, it's not lying. What is this? Ah, you could have missed that, huh? Nothing changed between there, but just another way in. Different perspective on things. It's just neat how these locals they know the little back ways and things like that. Lizzie will be suppose I'll be up there in a second, huh? This is... It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You ever seen anything like it? They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right. That's me. Short leash. It's a bath for night, bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, Matt. Night. Hmm. 
This is a one on one soccer field. Brush up on your goalie skills. It is really hard to keep up with all these people. But it gives it a rich backstory. I guess I should have started writing things down. Okay, so what we know... Ooh, this is a rich tapestry, so when we first started off... Kate and Sean? Steven? Steven. Kate and Steven were best of lovers. Close, fast friends. Married. She's probably from the U.S. He brought her here. They've opened up an observatory, which is, you know, basically an, an array of telescopes of some sort. They've caught hold of some sort of alien technology or alien, whoever knows if it's a weapon or whatever. But it's obviously made contact with them and it's killing these people, whether it's killing or vaporizing or teleporting them off to um, to this other planet, who knows? Uh, in current technology and current theory, teleportation is the actual deconstruction of human atoms and then making them reappear somewhere else. So who knows, maybe that's what's going on, maybe they're just not used to the teleportation sequence but the the theory is is that it it copies you it doesn't necessarily it basically makes a new you and reassembles you somewhere else so the old you has to die in order for the new you to be appear because there can't be two of you everywhere because if you split the teleportation process in half it, it's just multiplying someone duplication so that would be interesting I suppose Um, but anyway, that's that's the theory. Maybe they're getting teleported out. Maybe they're just being killed. Who knows? Um, but in that story of trying to figure out what's happening to the people, there's this intricate story, this love triangle between Stephen, Kate, and Lizzie. Everybody seems to know about it, including the mother. Frank's staying out of it. Actually, wait, no. Frank is the, uh, the guy that's in love with the 16-year-old girl, which, you know, whatever that's on him, but it's kind of... There's plenty of women to choose from in this world that are of legal age. You shouldn't get yourself involved with something like that, obviously, but, you know, whatever. 1980s, I suppose, and all that. Um, <laughs> gross. Uh, anyway, the thing is, he's just, you know, he's been told by George. He's been told by now Charlie to stay away from the 16-year-old girl, and I don't know, they just keep seeing each other. It's not told us how old Frank is yet, so and if he's just turned 18, I guess that could be... I'm not going to justify this. I'm, I'm going to stop talking about this. <laughs> um, so anyway, that, that weird thing is going on. You've got the thing with Liz, Steven, and Kate. Now that's more interesting to me. We've still got like hot smoldering cigarettes and grills oh it's that again grills still on fire plenty of fuel cold beer unopened unopened beer there you know not mold anywhere this is this is a true campground <laughs> to leave the observatory but couldn't I stood at the gates but couldn't conceive of a world outside the strangest feeling as if the valley Stephen everything was simply irrelevant an idea of something not of something itself I'm losing track of time of whether I'm asleep or awake my fingers have gone numb at the tips it's like they still feel, but what they feel is no longer for me. 
Like the signal has been hijacked. So these radios are an intimate view into what Kate is experiencing. And, you know, Stephen has separated himself from her instead of staying with her during this. He ran away from this to be with, obviously, this person he loved. Uh, I don't know who that represents. Maybe mommy, daddy. Who knows? Um, <laughs> maybe that's the girl and Frank. Who knows? <laughs> uh, okay, what we're seeing here is a real depiction. The butterflies remain insects. But the birds are dead. So. That, that is the current mystery. It's, it's not like a full on. Um, gassing of the area. Otherwise everything would be dead. I mean everything. So now we have these butterflies. And the birds are. Butterflies are alive and the birds are dead. Repeating yourself junkie. That's good stuff. Great storytelling. Once upon a time, the once upon a time, and the once upon a time, the once upon a time. Great story. Thanks. So let's, uh, let's continue this mystery. Let's figure it out. I mean, I've got my own suspicions. Mainly right now, it's centered and focused on... I'm going to go check that phone, by the way. Yeah, Lizzie. Yeah, Lizzie. I know. You got yourself knocked out by Steven. He's, and he's doing the right thing. I'm gonna go check this phone out and then I'll come right back. Calm yourself. Let's go check this phone out, guys. Although I'm not supposed to be using it, but whatever. This is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. But I love you. Please be there. I love you. Oh, she outed him on their home phone number. That bitch is crazy! Nah, uh, she's pregnant. She's just pregnant. She's in love. But she was told not to use the phone anymore. So he's... You know. She's crazy. She's not listening. So... She loves him. That's real love right there. She's pregnant. She loves him. And she fucking told him to his face. Look, I love you. I know that I'm calling your house with your wife answering the message machine. Or whatever you want to call it. But, uh... I love you. And it's just like... Bitch, my wife will hear this. We're not even really talking at the moment, if I'm honest with you. I've been sleeping it in one of the empty chalets. Otherwise, we just sit there in silence. And then he goes off and pretends he's not drinking from one of his secret little stashes. And I pretend I ain't noticed. And then when we go to bed, it's all I can do not to scream. I don't know why we're still together. Except we do. Still love him. You remind me of Mary when she was your age. If we'd had a daughter, I'd have been proud if she turned out like you. You don't have to say that. Just talk to Robert. Tell him you know he's drinking again. You two can work it out together. I know you uh, can. I wish I had your faith. I just don't want to be the person who stayed because they were afraid to move. I know you can't dwell on the past. I know that, but sometimes you do just think, don't you? What if the accident hadn't happened? I could have been anywhere right now, rather than stuck here, rehearsing Peter bloody pan and fixing tumble dryers for the umpteenth time. <laughs> oh, Frank, you are an angel. Don't be that. You're still young, is you got plenty of time to be whoever you want to be. Just don't keep using that leg of yours or that husband as an excuse. Well, that that settles it. Okay, so Frank was actually the, I think Stephen's dad or stepdad, one of the two. Uh, Lizzie was married to 
that other guy and wants to run off with Steven. Steven has been sleeping with Lizzie and you know they're leaving their significant others for each other so say la vie uh, in this scene we had Frank giving her advice to either stick it out or live your life one of the two while he was fixing a dryer and so it wasn't Frank that was going after the young girl it was someone else so let's go around here and see if there's Little shit, did we already go back there? Yeah, we already went back there. Well guys, I mean, this has been... As exciting as this has been, it's been absolutely pouring. I know I'm wet, I'm soaked. I'm probably gonna get electrocuted and die before I figured out the end of this. Stop by the, uh, campground bathroom and then we'll... We'll move along. Somebody's got some damn science experiments up in here. What what do you do with this thing? Maybe it's like a something you put a little water on or something like that. Take the bait. What do you got over here? I was half expecting to see a head in there. This earlier? I guess I just missed it earlier. Okay. Well, I guess the last thing we heard was Lizzie talking on the phone, which of course we were told by Steven that she shouldn't do, so I'm guessing we're gonna find her by the station. Or maybe even up here by this bus stop. Which is sad because if she really had child had a child then uh hmm I guess they're both gone. Alright so whoever was in these sense was obviously not as important. I 
place for them to go over here. Oh, this is a this is a big one, actually. All right. It's actually when you see it drawing in stuff like that from far out. It's a pretty big memory. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <laughs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. you got to give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him, so I'd hope that was good enough. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan, the kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. Where did you see that? Ah. Uh. Okay, so that's it's getting a little creepier. Jeremy, the priest. The music has got more ominous than flowy. So the mood has definitely been set. So, there's two ways out of here. That and this gate over here. So I think I'll take the gate. He's fine. Die. Come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it. Die. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut down. I know. I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and... Oh, God, I think Die, he... for fuck's sake, leave it. It's all right. Hey, you're all right. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. <laughs> but no. Now, I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So, Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so, but Mr. Graves, Rob... Can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. OK, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, Sean. Go and find Reese, please, see if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. 
Go on. She's like the... ran Robert off the side of the road <laughs> and I guess Robert is her her husband or maybe father-in-law who knows I don't know this is so confusing I'm gonna have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to see the link I'm literally gonna have to go back through this game again with a piece of paper and try to figure out the link between these people because they know each other and the families are so close and it's a small town and it's uh, graves Lizzie and Robert were married Steven and Kate are married, and Lizzie and Steven are having an affair. What's this? <gasps> oh, the balloon wheel uh, things where you could go across the water. Yeah. That's so cool. I remember that as a kid. I mean, obviously, this is not the time to worry about that, but. It's coming down harder. She's done a runner. Don't say that, Reese. She wouldn't do that. Would she? What about Dylan? She's not exactly jumped at the chance of looking after him, has she? She's just left you to it. She's not coming back. They let her go. She's always thinking of everyone else. There must be something important she needs to do. It looks like you're in charge now. So I guess this means we're not leaving, are we? Spain can wait. Listen. You get back in there, and you make this the best bloody Peter Pan ever performed in England. And I'm gonna go and get your mum and dad. Promise me you'll come back? I promise. All right. I think that may be a young couple. Right, you wanna, you wanna be very careful, man. <laughs> If I was the dad, you'd have been having your face caved in by now. Sorry, buddy. That's just it. <laughs> if it was my little girl, she's going to be a little girl for as long as possible. They did not have rolly suitcases back then, did they? That's amazing. Oh God, Stephen. What's happening to me? That was pretty short to the point.
they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's so good, be all right. Do you want me to go look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. Holy shit, it moved. All right, well, I suppose we'll check one last place in here. I don't know where to go from here, so we'll be right back. All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, Focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. Kind of. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. Well, you're obviously successful. People are absolutely gone. Back here, are we? Alright, well, let's have a shot. So, this may be the last and final thing we get to watch together, people. This might be the end of this story. If Kate somehow is able to tell the story of what happened, all these birds and people and government involvement, we may be at the story's end. Wrapping it up with a very untidy bow, this if you is ask a me. Service announcement from Hamilton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of this director. Please remain calm and listen. Hello, Catherine. It's Kate. Elizabeth? Oh, it's shit. I heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. He moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you or... Well, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I... But Lizzie, please. 